Okay, so last lecture, uh, we completed this part of the question, calculation of the cost driver rate. Now we have to continue with calculating the total cost as per the new method, that is the ABCS method, activity-based costing method. Okay, to do calculate total cost, yeah. we need to calculate, the question was, also about to calculate factory rates. Yeah, I'm taking back to the question. This is the question. Uh, select a suitable cost driver for each item of overhead expense and calculate the cost per unit of cost driver, which we are done with. And using the concept of activity-based costing, that is ABCS, compute the factory cost per unit of each product. Okay, so you are supposed to calculate factory cost, but for that we need to know my factory overheads first. Okay, so factory overheads is total of factory expenses, but factory cost is what? It is uh, direct material, direct labor equal to prime cost, add factory overheads, and then you get factory cost. I hope you remember this part of cost sheet. Okay, so you are supposed to calculate this, but to know this, I have to know my factory overheads first. So first I will calculate my factory overheads. Am I clear about this? Okay. Is this clear to everyone? To calculate factory cost, I need to first know what is my factory overheads. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, we are doing what ABCS. ABCS know what are we doing? We are doing allocation of factory overheads that is indirect cost okay based on what based on activity okay. so so this is my activity so i note down this calculation of factory overheads and let us look what is the activity all about okay so these are the activities one two three four five Okay, so it is divided into five activities. Right? Yeah. Next. First activity is what machine oriented. Okay. So the rate that we calculated, what was the cost to driver rate? So these are my cost drivers, okay, which we have already done in the last lecture. Okay. So three rupees, two fifty six, three forty eight, nine fifty five, and three seventy four. Okay. So three rupees per machine hour. Right? Okay. Yeah. So three per machine hours. How many machine hours? Machine hours were given. Five hundred, five thousand, two thousand, four hundred and 42,000 machinas. This we had calculated in the working net. I'll take you to that working net. Where is that working net? Yes, it's here. Okay. This working net I'm talking about, where we calculated machinas. 500, 5,000, 2,400, 42,000. Okay, individual. Let us take that. So, 500 into 3, 1500, 5000 into 3, 15000, 2400 into 3, 7200, 42000 into 3, 42000 into 3, 126000. Okay. I hope I'm clear with the first activity. First activity calculation is understood to everyone. Thank you. Next come to ordering material. So ordering material is how much? 256 per order. Okay, we got it from our previous calculation of cost driver rate. Okay, now let us check. 256 material order. So let, let me take you to the question. Yeah. 256 material order. Yeah. Material order. 
So three, twelve, three, twelve. Okay. Now multiply. Two fifty six into three. Twelve into two fifty six. Same thing. Three into two fifty six again. Same thing again. Twelve into two fifty six. Quantity multiplied with the rate. Okay. Next come to setup. So setup we got cost driver rate is how much three forty eight. Okay, now let me check the number of setups given in the question. Yes, it is number of setups given is three eighteen five and twenty four. Okay, this one three eighteen five and twenty four. Okay, so that's the quantity that they have given. Yes. Okay, three eighteen five and twenty four. Multiply it with the rate three forty eight. So three into three forty eight one zero four four eighteen into three forty eight six two six four five into three forty eight one seven four zero twenty four into one forty eight. Okay, three forty eight into twenty four eight three five two. Now the first three activities clear to everyone. How it is calculated? Clear with the first three activity calculation. Okay, fine. Thank you. Next fourth activity spare parts. So it is at the rate nine fifty five. So let us check the spare parts quantity what they have given. Spare parts. Given six, fifteen, three, and twelve. Okay. Here, six, fifteen, three, and twelve. So let us come to that calculation. Yeah, quantity is Six, fifteen, three, and twelve. Okay, so just multiply six into nine fifty five five seven three zero fifteen into nine fifty five fourteen three twenty five then three into nine fifty five two eight six five. Then twelve into nine fifty five, so eleven four six zero. Okay. And last is machines three seventy four. Sorry, that was material handling. Last one was material handling. So frequency was given six times, thirty times, nine times, and thirty six times in the question. Okay. So multiply it with the rate. Six into three seventy four. Next thirty into three seventy four. Eleven thousand two twenty. Nine into three seventy four. Three three six six. And thirty six into three seventy four. Thirteen four sixty four. Okay. So 
this is the calculation of only factory overheads that is only indirect cost okay yeah because what are we doing we are doing an extension of overheads abcs is nothing but an extension of overheads chapter okay yeah so i am just calculating indirect cost right now so when you total this indirect cost Four sixty plus eight three five two plus three zero seven two plus one lakh twenty six thousand. So one lakh sixty to three forty eight. Okay, this is my total factory overheads. Divide this by units produced, fourteen thousand units. I will get the per unit of factory overheads, which I need to calculate my total cost cost price. Eleven. Point five nine six. You can make it six zero. Next, seven thousand two hundred plus seven sixty eight plus one seven four zero plus two eight six five plus three three six six. Okay, fifteen nine thirty nine. Divide this by twelve hundred units produced. So thirteen point two eight. Next. Fifteen thousand plus three zero seven two plus six two six four plus fourteen three twenty five plus eleven two twenty forty nine eight eighty one. Divide this with ten thousand units produced. Four point nine nine. You can do it. Okay. Yeah. Then fifteen hundred plus seven sixty eight plus. One zero four four plus five seven three zero plus two two four four eleven two eighty six divided by thousand units. So it comes to eleven point two eight six. Make it two nine. Okay. Is it clear to you to everyone? Calculation of factory units per unit. Okay. And the logic behind why we are calculating it because we have to cost price calculate करना है as per ABCS method for the four products. Okay, yeah. Thank you. So have you all noted down all this? Can I move on to the next part? That is calculation of cost price or total cost. Okay. ठीक है फिर. Now let us come to calculation of factory overheads per unit. चलो ना इनको question में factory cost per unit या तो आप उसको total cost भी बोल सकते हो because उसके बाद there is no other cost added. There is no admin overheads. There is no selling and distribution overheads. Okay? बराबर ना तो you can call this as total cost also. Why? Because this is my direct cost. This factory overheads is my indirect cost. Remember, so direct cost plus indirect cost is equal to what? It is equal to total cost. Okay, so you can call this as total factory cost, or you can call this as total cost. Okay, but आपको निकालना क्या है? Cost price. Remember, yeah, that is the per unit they want you to calculate. Okay, so direct material, direct labor. This is already given in the question. The per unit work ten rupees, ten rupees, thirty two rupees, and thirty four rupees. Direct labor per unit ah six rupees, six rupees, four rupees, and eighteen rupees. Factory overheads to be just what eleven point two nine, four point nine nine, thirteen point two eight, and eleven point six zero. Okay, just total it. This is twenty seven point two eight six. Make it twenty seven point two nine. Four point nine nine. Twenty point nine nine. You can make this twenty one also. Okay. Yeah. Thirty two plus four plus thirteen point two eight. Forty nine point two eight. Next, thirty four plus eighteen plus eleven point six is sixty three point six. Is it clear to clear to everyone? So 
So the sum is clear to everyone. Yeah. Okay, fine. Thank you. Noted now. Have you noted down how to calculate this total cost per unit? The logic behind calculating this total cost per unit. So everything uh, in ABCS boils down to calculating what cost price only. So whether you are calculating the total of the uh, cost or you are calculating the per unit of the cost. Okay, both are one and the same thing. If you're calculating the total cost amount column divided with units produced, you will get CPU cost price for the same. Okay. Right. So now, once this is done, let's move on to the next question. So this was continuation of the last lecture. The sum was continuation of that.